this question is by Dan with a bunch of numbers. And um, his question is, what are your uh, memories of, what did you think of your small little feud you had with uh, Killer Cross in NXT? Of course, uh, ah, yeah. Mr. Cross, uh, who is great, uh, just reappeared on SmackDown recently and uh, is back in the news. But you had a little thing with him on NXT. Um, yes, fantastic. I, I, it, well, just... Uh... There's a lot of myth and there's a lot of nonsense that goes on about what was going on in the last couple of years of NXT. We were in survival mode because that's all we could do. We were taping, you know, and, and unfortunately for Gary and Cross, he, he came into NXT when we were in COVID. Wasn't unfortunately because he did incredibly well. He came in in COVID. Everybody seems to forget these things and they'll, they'll, they'll fantasize about what happened or the, the, all these myths will grow out of it and they'll, they'll make things up. He came in in COVID and he did incredibly well. And we, you know, I used to not be on the show that much, but we had to rely on people who could hit to put a show out every week. And he fit in and he did his bit and he did it well. And the act with Scarlet is, is fantastic. And then the, the, the things that we did together, uh, we, we just, as with anybody, Adam Cole's another one that I, I, I always did stuff with a short time with Kevin Owens. Pros who know how to react to each other. It always works. And right. I, I'm really glad that he's going to, get a chance again because he, he, he's just a he's a good lad he's a talent and he's a, talent, and, great act. He's a, he's a yes and and uh but you know that some of the stuff that he, he's capable of his range I, I think there was the the one when Samoa Joe came back uh there's a a, a promo segment that we did right. where I was just and there was nothing written for that at all it was just me going out and in, in a time when things were, you know, we, we, it was bleak. It was a bleak time for everybody. everybody. Everybody seems to have forgot what the last few years were like and what we were all going through. It was like the closest thing any of us are going to come to a world war. Right? Mm -hmm. As far as, and, and you'd think that people would have come out of this. I'm just going to go on a bit of a rant here. Come out of this being more appreciative of life. I know. Well, I am anyway, because I, I was before COVID because I, I've always appreciated life, but now I nearly died in 2018. I've made peace with dying, but COVID brought, made, made people realize life's precious and that they, nobody seems to have, have took that on board. Like, it, you know, you, you talk to people that come out after world war two or of whatever war that the, 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 there's, there's been got, and people seem to come out of it appreciative. Uh, more appreciation for life. COVID hasn't done that. And it's made, in fact, it's made people seem to be a lot worse and more sniping at each other and more like, I, I, anyway, that's my little thing out. You, life's precious. Enjoy it. But we were down there and we were doing that and we, we did, I went out there and I, I just did my thing and, uh, Kevin Karen came out. And did his thing, and it and it worked. So it, it was a it was a great thing, and I'm really really happy that he's getting to do his thing again, because that lad's a, a, a just a top rate lad, a, a, and 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 Scarlett's lovely lady, is 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 a good lad. Yeah, and the presentation NXT of him was uh, fantastic. Fantastic, and uh, again in COVID though. Yeah. Right. The, the whole the whole like Titan Tron deal with their entrance, yeah. the whole deal it was it was amazing, but. Like you said, sometimes no fans, sometimes a few fans. And at the very least, he did not get the full chance that a lot of other people do to no. do his thing in front of an audience. No, like everybody else that, 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 we're, that we were using in COVID had come before. And so I'd, I'd been used to doing takeovers with crowds. And so he came in at the end of a, if I'm, if I'm remembering rightly, right at the end of a, the first, was it the first? Um, COVID I think so. takeover. Right. So imagine if you'd have had the crowd and, and 
Right. If we'd have been in front of an audience and everybody's got their, their sometimes this silly way of looking at it and I hear things and I'm going, do, do you realize what that is to do that in, in, and, and to be able to not only portray what you've got to portray, but portray with in an, in an empty building with no audience feedback and nothing. It, it's, he did an incredible job. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the next question, this is one of those questions that either could go nowhere or you might have a lot to say about it, uh, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Um, we had a, 